I'm wondering if we bring in Antonio Brown's agent, Drew Rosenhaus, are you a little concerned, Drew, that the love that John Gruden has between Antonio Brown is stronger than the love you and Antonio Brown have at this point? That's not possible. I don't think anybody <laughs> can be closer with their client than Antonio and I are. All right, good. Who else is John Gruden. He's got his work cut out for him on that one. All right, good. Well, as we said, brother, you have had your work cut out for you on this one, so respect on earning that 3%. So Antonio Brown is there, Drew. He's practicing as a certified helmet. Is this done? Are we, are we past it all now? No, we're, we're not. Um, we, we have an uh, arbitration uh, hearing coming up on Friday where we're going to continue to appeal to the NFL and the NFL PA to allow Antonio to wear the same type of helmet that he has worn the first nine years of his career. Um, I'm not going to uh, present our case right now. We'll wait until Friday to do that, but we're going to give it, we're going to give it every shot. Um, Antonio is going to obviously play football this year and play football for the Raiders and do a great job. But one of the things that we're going to do is exhaust every option that we have to uh, rightfully let him wear what he's worn his entire career. Um, right. and, hopefully that, and hopefully that'll work out. All right, fine. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I guess – I guess to follow up with, with, with that, Drew, if looking forward, he loses that grievance, and if he appeals, he loses that appeal, you're saying he's still going to play. He'll just wear an approved helmet, and he won't miss time. Yeah, that's correct. Um, and it, there's, there's never been the possibility that Antonio would let this prevent him from doing what he loves to do and uh, fulfilling his – a destiny as one of the great receivers of all time. Uh, he is determined to play this year, and what we're trying to do is just get him in the safest equipment possible. <laughs> he he believes, and we believe, that the helmet he's worn for nine years and he's had unparalleled production throughout those nine years, that it's imperative for us to continue with that helmet because that's what has kept him safe. We understand that these new rules, we hear all the testing. We're not disputing that. That may be great for every other player, but this is something that has worked so well for him, and we want to maintain that consistency and that safety. And we'll exhaust that process. If it doesn't work out, so be it. At least we can say that we tried everything possible, and he'll move forward, and he'll make it work with, uh, with an approved helmet. Talking to Drew Rosenhaus with us on the Shell Pennzoil Performance Line, agent of Antonio Brown with us. And this process has been heavily scrutinized throughout the last few weeks. I'm curious, as it's all gone down between the feet, the helmet, and the coverage and everything else, what's been the most frustrating part for Antonio and for you in this? Well, um, I, you know, I would say the frustrating part is just uh, we've had an equipment that has worked for nine years, so that's – that's, it's worked. It's kept him safe. I, he's had one concussion um, out of uh, countless tackles and hits. He plays a very dangerous position. People are gunning for him all the time. He's the number one weapon. Uh, and, of course, you know, it was very frustrating that he got injured, in my opinion, by no fault of his own. You know, we're addressing the, the cryo injury, but he put his trust in, in some people that were apparently uh, – experts and they didn't have the proper procedure for that and it's a very unfortunate for Antonio but the good news is he is feeling a lot better he's back at practice and he's very much looking forward to having a brilliant season and continuing his uh, unparalleled success listen and the only guy that's ever given him a concussion is now a teammate so hopefully that won't be an issue yeah, anymore that is perfect uh, Drew Rosenhaus is with us the agent for Antonio Brown uh, Drew, one thing that we haven't quite understood, and maybe you can help us clarify this, is we get it that he wanted to play in that helmet and he wanted to file the grievance and he's filing another grievance and all that, but why did he need to leave camp during all this? Why was that necessary? Uh, you know, I think it's, it is a very personal issue. Can, can you relate as a professional if you have the most important 
piece of equipment for you and you're being told you cannot wear it after nine years and this is the piece of equipment that protects your head, your brain, your livelihood, your, your life. Um, I, I understand that most people out there just look at this as a helmet, but to him it's his life. He wore, he wore this model in high school. He wore this model in college. He has worn it every snap through nine years. This is very important to him, and we have been working on this with the lead throughout the offseason. From the minute we were told about this, we have been working towards getting this resolved. There are times when he needed some personal time to deal with the frustration, not with the Raiders, not with John Gruden, not with his teammates, but with this particular part of the system. He just was not comfortable with it, and he's worked his way through it to his credit. I guess, Drew, that, that would be my point as, as a guy in locker rooms is to say it wasn't an issue with the Raiders. It was an issue with the league, and he left his teammates where he could have been part of that team. Did you disagree with that? Did you try and talk him out of that and say you should stay with the team? Well, certainly, you know, my, my discussions with Antonio are, you know, that that's between us. But um, I support Antonio, and I have uh, always been very genuine and honest with him. And I always encourage him to do the right thing. And we have that kind of relationship. And that was a blip on the radar. He, uh, he did miss some time. Uh, and I know that that is something that has been made um, a, a big deal of. But I said almost instantly that it would be a very short uh, absence. And, and that's exactly what happened. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.